when you go into the classroom, it feels like a calling. Every mind, every heartbeat is trying to figure out a managerial issue and you are all trying to converge on a solution no matter which direction you've come in. And we're crowdsourcing a bunch of different ideas. We're trying to understand different points of view and perspectives. If you think about a lecture-based format, you can have your prepared lecture, repeat that year over year, and the only variable is your delivery. But in the case study method, there's lots of variables because the learning actually comes from the students. You as the faculty member, you're the facilitator of that conversation. Even though it looks super spontaneous, it's not. It's a lot of preparation, it's a lot of work behind the scenes. We'll read the cases on our own to really reflect on our key takeaways. And then we get together in our teaching groups and really discuss, I mean, what's at the heart of the debate in the case? And we come up with a series of important questions that are really critical for unlocking many of the puzzles that are embedded within the case. You've got new faculty who are on the cutting edge of research. You've got senior lecturers and professors of management practice who have had senior leadership roles inside companies and organizations. And you've got seasoned faculty who are the bridges, who understand how to convert the research and the lessons from practice into classroom learning. And we work as a team so that we all mutually benefit and can bring that collective wisdom to bear on what we create in the classroom. The relationship between faculty and students is a sacred one. Each and every time students and professors interact, it's an opportunity for us to create an enduring bond between two people. I want to get to know you as a person so together we can figure out how you can best learn, grow, and develop yourself during your two years here. I adore office hours. One of my students once said to me, Rifkin, the problem is not getting into your office, the problem is getting out. You start to understand where they need to build new strengths. You start to understand what they value in their lives. I often walk away from many classes that I've had with goosebumps. I can't stop thinking about conversations, and it's just magnificent. The world desperately needs better leadership. It's actually one of the great gifts of teaching here. You get to do something about it. So you and I will be students in the classroom and I'll look at you and I'll say, if you're doing that, maybe I can do this. And you're looking at me and the same thing's happening to you. And we both emerge bolder than ever. And the world needs that bold leadership.